So I made a little final one over here, just in case they do try to censor it, so someone will have to appreciate the irony of that, no censorship. What time is it now? Right, so it's about that time. So I gotta be heading out of here, but before I do, I figure that one guy that came out that hadn't talked to me, but seemed like he wanted to, but maybe not in front of the group or in front of the camera that was there when he came out. Um, I'm gonna see if I can parlay with him momentarily, if maybe he's chief. I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my bag down for a second and then just go walk over and have a little chat if I can. Hey, I hope I'm not interrupting you guys. So are you the one known as Chief? I am. All right, so were you pulling these guys' legs about something with people needing to clean up chalk? It's something that we prefer, Ian. Um, it, it by no means are we infringing on your First Amendment rights. This is your speech. It's your free speech. We may even um, agree with it. That's right. It's just the idea that it's it's got to be cleaned because not everybody might want to see those sayings or it might be offensive to them. Not to you, but to them. And it is chalk. I know the rain can wash it away, but it's it's just like if we co color everything here. It's kind of like not a canvas for artwork as much as it has a place to come and express mm -hmm. Well, we had a woman here earlier, but she had pamphlets. So her her means of communicating that were her pamphlets, yours using chalk. So you're both doing the same thing. It's just okay. she kind of came in and carried out where this is now gone. Right? This is here after you leave and somebody has Back to clean to it. Well, they don't have to clean it in the sense that nature will remove it through oh, the rain. Oh, absolutely. But there's events tomorrow, yeah, so... Yeah, tomorrow morning I, um, I'm seeing a children and family march. Well, don't you think that's relevant to children and families, about families being caged, children being caged? Isn't I think that... it is, but I don't know if the participants will think it is. Yeah, well, they're free to believe whatever they want. Right, right, but... right. So, right. So, I, I mean, it'd, Ian, it'd be like if a group put stuff that you didn't agree. If you agree that they're free to put it there, but if you're holding a rally and you drew a permit, it's like, well, wait a minute, what's all this stuff? Somebody should clean it up, and it really should be the person that wrote it. It's kind of their, yeah, it makes sense. their canvas and their expression, but somebody needs to just clear the slate for the next group to be able to come in. And well, I don't always agree with the courts, but I do agree with them when they say that this is a public bulletin board. People can put whatever messages down they want as long as it does dissolved by natural means so yeah I, I just don't like the idea of being told that I have to clean it up and like earlier these three of these security guys are out there it was like somebody let the chihuahua puppies out of the cage or like all circling around me and being like you're gonna clean this up or else and I was like what do you mean or else I don't have to do that I so didn't say or else I said I was an advisor you said something about what's what's gonna happen if you don't are you just gonna leave what do you think we'll do about it implying that there was some sort of consequence and there's not so so I just think that's kind of silly, and, and I just wanted to express how silly I thought that was. But I hope you guys enjoy the chalkings, and I hope they stay there as long as possible, because I think it's an important message. Until the content of the message and the issue of the message gets resolved, I'd like for people to see it and be aware of it, whether they're angry or whether they are inspired by it. So. All right. You guys enjoy your day. Thank you. Good luck with that march tomorrow. Thanks. Hey, uh, I feel like that was a very productive dialogue. I mean, I feel like I've been doing this forever, man. I was, I'm like 30 years old now. I've been out here chalking since what? I was like 18 or 19. And uh, I feel like we've been through a lot of this stuff already. Like it's totally legal. There's no consequence for not removing it. All of that sort of thing. Um, now, if I were to put it on like this surface here, this vertical, like that makes people upset and they might, they might arrest you for that because that won't necessarily wash away because there's like some overhang or even uh, the statues behind me, like here's that Daniel Webster right there. Um, people have done that and they've, you know, at the Manchester police station, Shocking 8, we're all aware of that. But, um, so yeah, I got to get going to work now and I'm, I'm glad I had that dialogue and I uh, hope people enjoyed watching that and uh, do come out to Concord, New Hampshire at the State House and express yourself.